Now, the world's first Museum of Happiness opens today in London's first Happy Cafe. Mm, and we're joined uh, by Izzy McRae, who's the founder of the Gratitude Garden. Uh, welcome. What is this all about, appreciating the being of, the state being. of being happy? Yes, well, um, today we have this um, wonderful Museum of Happiness opening at the Canvas Cafe in Shoreditch. Um, it's going to have lots of things that make people happy. So uh, a tree where you can add um, little messages of gratitude on and hang on them from the tree. A post box where you can send thank you letters. And then more seriously, some information about the science of happiness, what makes people happy. Oh, what does make people happy then? Well, one of the things that makes people happy is remembering what's good about life. So quite often we can have a day which has been a great day, but we have one argument with somebody. And then at the end of the day, all that kind of goes around in our heads is the argument, even though lots of nice things happened. So one exercise you can do is write down at the end of the day three good things about your day. And this forces you to kind of recognize that there were good things that happened. Um, the Gratitude Garden app that I've made actually asks you what good things have happened during your day and helps you um, do this exercise. Is there a recognition then with, with all of this? Because there may be people watching saying, oh, well, you know, don't, I don't see the point of doing any of this. But as human beings and perhaps as, as you know, citizens of the UK, are we, are we more negative as a sort of natural bias? I think we are naturally likely to be negative. I mean, we've evolved that way. The people who worried about running away from tigers were more likely to survive than the people who enjoyed the beautiful sunsets, you know, thousands and thousands of years ago. So we've evolved to be like that, but it's not ne necessarily a helpful way of being in today's society. Um, so there are actual things that you can do to try and change that, that bias, that negativity bias, and make yourself more positive. But you can't be in a constant state of happiness, can you? I mean, that's just not realistic. You can when you work with you, Gillian. <laughs> I try every day. It doesn't work. No. Um, I mean, if the problem in society were people being in a constant state of positivity, um, we'd be having a different discussion, I think. Yeah. But there's evidence to show that doing a gratitude journal can make you 25 percent happier right. it increases self-esteem it increases how nice you are to others um, it even increases how much exercise you do um, one study showed people doing an hour and a half more exercise who were doing a gratitude journal so it's a really easy way easy fun um, not Ooh, expensive well, it's I a way, I'll try that. way to a try gratitude be journal. happier <laughs> Lovely. Izzy, thank you. I think they can't really argue with just being nice and positive, can you? Because mm. we, are, we are too negative. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the day. It sounds a lot of fun. Be happy. <laughs> uh, we're going to be happy in a minute because we're going to be yes, dunking very. biscuits. Stay with us. <laughs>